Good evening. We've been testing uh, this Duracell block for the better part of uh, eight months now. Uh, I set up a, a pump to circulate water through this hose and drop it down the uh, outside face of the block. And we were testing to see whether or not via capillary action that moisture would move from the outboard panel through the concrete to the inboard panel. Uh, you'll see an earlier video that I'll have a link to uh, where this was not filled with concrete and we showed how it was not transferring through the side webs to the inside uh, panel but we thought a realistic test would be to fill it full of concrete like it's going to be in a real foundation. So uh, we've been uh, dumping water on it continuously and now we're going to uh, see what the actual uh, readings are. So I'll take some photos that I'll embed uh, later. You can see this is, uh, I'll put it on actual moisture. Uh, so we're at 99% uh, at the top edge where it's been dumping. And uh, 99, 99, 99, 99. This was a drier area where it hadn't, uh, the, the, the hole was plugged. It's uh, 40, uh, 75, so yeah, not that dry. 99, okay. So now I'm gonna go around to the back side. And I mean, you can hear it. We're at 15, 15.2, right up at the top, we're at 14.7 we get down to we get down to saturation right at the bottom and the like within this far from the uh, the bottom and that is because the plastic um, tubs that I had this sitting on collapsed partially under the weight of, of the block and in order to have enough water in here for the pump to run, the bottom of this block was actually sitting in water. But even that's a good test because the, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll move this around. We now have uh, the back side, uh, which would be the inboard face. And I don't know if you can see, but there's about an inch where it's been sitting in the water at the bottom of the panel. And so if we go down to the very bottom, we're at 99. But as low as one inch above, that's 28. That's 19. 19. That's 17.5. 17 so you can see that very quickly the moisture level is dissipating as we get away from the wetting. Duracell uh, literature and testing showed that this was basically a free draining um, material that it did not support capillary action and this test pretty much reinforces that. What I would expect is happening is the, this portion here is wet not because it's soaked up from here but because the concrete was also down to the bottom soaked up so I would if we were able to cut this apart and I don't have the tools to do so the concrete itself does support capillary reaction it's wetting from behind if we turn it again again we're at uh, whoops it's off 100%. If I go up to here, we're at 19. We're at 11. Up at the top, we're at 12. 14. 14. And uh, the concrete itself, um, I'll take a photo of it, but this part here, up at the, the, the back half 
and I'll take a photo. Um, it's at 100% because one of these uh, holes was spraying it into this area. And yet, if we go here, it's still only at 12. So it's 100% here within four inches, and here we're at 12. So I think there's a lot to be said for the, the free draining uh, capacity of these blocks. Uh, my testing certainly supports uh, Roxol's, uh, sorry, Duracell's uh, testing of the material, and uh, we're we're definitely going to go ahead with using it on our project. Um, and this pretty much concludes the the testing of it. Uh, it without the concrete in it, hardly any moisture at all got to the backside. It was all below. I believe we'll find if we look at the videos, it was all below 15%. Back then, the bottom wasn't resting in water. The concrete itself is uh, very supportive of capillary action. Uh, I believe uh, they've recorded that it can go up, or they figured out it can go up to several miles uh, of vertical uh, capillary uh, movement. Um, so the concrete core is transferring to the inside web but even then it's it's just draining down and, and very quickly drying out so for the top half we're, we're basically into the safe air safe uh, uh, levels so uh, that concludes the, the, the experiment um, the power is going to be shut off to the house shortly and uh, drywall guys are going to remediate the, the asbestos drywall tomorrow so I need to get this out so uh, its duration has uh, come, and uh, thanks for watching.